last time on Plush Survivor Zero. Where are we? It appears we've arrived in a strange new world. One apparently full of sky islands. Skyland islands, you say? Hmm. Could we be in Skylands? No, no, these Sky Islands look way different than the ones that appeared in Skylanders, so definitely can't be Skylands. So aware, aware, could we possibly be? Hmm, <laughs> we could be in some new world that doesn't uh, hasn't been documented yet. Why did you have to break my spine? Because I loathe you. Well, uh, whatever the case is, I guess we just have to keep going. Uh, how are the contestants doing, actually? Oh, right, um... Where are they? Oh, oh, there they are. Oh, mamma mia, that was a hard fall. Ah, oh, my head, man. Mm. Alright, everyone else alright? Uh, oh, I need to let you down. Yep, I'm up, I'm up. Oh, my head is spinning. Pretend I'm still. S nope, nope, I'm getting off now. Oh, that's. That was an exhilarating experience, I'll say. Well, from the looks of it, everyone everyone here is alright. Do not forget us. We exist too, and we are right. I will go look into the ship and see if everyone else inside is okay. Man. That was. Wait a minute, now if Nightmare Foxy was out, then that means... Fishing rod! <laughs> you got fish! Alright, explain yourselves. So, this was a very funny story. Don't do anything funny, just explain. Someone else do it, I want I want it to be funny. So, while we're in the void, Nightmare Foxy had planned to escape. So he so he got uh, so he allied himself with some sort of cosmic deity, and that's how he became affiliated with that brain thing. We tried to stop him by gathering the zero stones, but Crystal tried to stop to stop us. And unfortunately, if someone had managed to hang on to it, this was what remained of him. You killed him. No, 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 Most we did to the guy was beat up his lackey that he sent to kill us. So, that wasn't us who killed him. However, we do know who did kill him, and it was a grape. Grape? Why did we let a grape on the ship? I don't know, but must've been nothing. Wait, what do you mean nothing? Crystal just died. Uh. The grape had a gesture hat and like was evil. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, we don't know any grapes like that, so we're just gonna we're just gonna deal with it later when we find them. Anyways, what's to do from here? Sing, I I returned and I've gotten statistics about everything that is currently on the ship so far. Well, that's great! You're doing a better job than the actual staff. <laughs> Why won't you just give us money? The mortality status of everyone on the ship is currently at 100%. No one has died during the crash. They only have sustained certain minor injuries from the from the from the, from the shaking of the ship going down. Well, that's good, right? That, doesn't, that means we don't have to revive anyone. The ship is also in 100%. It still maintains its electricity. However, the engine does not seem to be working, so it cannot fly anymore. So, where it stands now is where it'll stay until we find a sustainable power source. Well then, guess that gives us a good incentive to go explore this new world, huh? Additionally, the Zero Stones have flown off. They've escaped the, sh they escaped the ship and now are all over the place. So, we'll have to find those too if we want the prize to return to us. Oh, what? The prize is gone? Hmm. Let's think of it this way. We have a new location, and we have a goal to set out for. Return the ship to its proper state, and... To return and to refine those zero stones and bring them back here as the prize. Who says the show is over? I say it's only just begun. Huh. Not a bad outlook, Mennonite. You're right. 
the show shouldn't stop because the show shouldn't go to a halt just because we just because a little shakeup happened. You just keep going. Cause still, this is Plug Survivor Zero. <laughs> That intro wasn't the one before. Why did you change it? Cuz, Waluigi, we're in a new stage of game and a new location of the game, so... Yeah, this called for an intro change. Tin Farley never did that. Minvala didn't have access to the intro files so they can change them, so deal with it, Waluigi. Huh. We're moving along, I'd like to go eat dinner. <sighs> Fine, come on, bunny. Whee! <laughs> Welcome, contestants, to your next challenge. For this challenge and the new stage of the game, you all, all of your teams will be disbanded! Urge already? already? But doesn't, doesn't this feel a little too early, too early for that? We'll go into more detail about this new stage ga game stage of the game later, Boo, but just so you confirm, this is not the merge yet. We are not ready for the merge. The merge is a painful, grueling process that will kill every single one of you. I don't feel safe. But anywho, this is not only is this going to be a free-for-all challenge among all of you, this is also going to be a PURGE CHALLENGE! Um, what's a PURGE CHALLENGE? According to the definition written by the League of Plush Game Shows United, a PURGE CHALLENGE is a challenge where, where the last person to complete it is eliminated! Oh, so kind of like that one that Golden Freddy lost in. Okay. Precisely right! All of you are in jeopardy of getting eliminated. But not just one! Three! B, but that's like two more than usual. Yes, that's how numbers work. Er, there are two groups of contestants that are exempt from this challenge, however, which are the RCs, because they literally just joined last up last part, and the eliminated contestants that we have so far, because you all are losers. Please, I've suffered enough. Just be quiet. Um, quick question, where are we going to be going because we're eliminated? Because we don't have the Crystal Void anymore, so where are we going to go? Because you can't just interfere the game. Yeah, Inky's right. Like a lot of other things, we'll get to that later. But first we got to do this challenge. As for your challenge, your challenge is called Push the Button. The rules are very simple. You just push the button and you're safe. So that's it. Well then, this will certainly be easy. I wouldn't be so I wouldn't be so optimistic, I mean. It's better to counter eggs before they hatch. Sorry everyone, all you gotta do is just press the button and you'll be safe. You'll be teleported out of the area and you'll be out of the challenge for the until I, until the last three year remain. And with those last three remain, they will be eliminated. And they will never come back until the next week, which probably will be soon because we're entering a new stage of the game, because yeah. With that out of the way, we'll let the cha challenge begin. So, go! Is anyone gonna try and uh, press the button? Mm, someone has to be daring enough to press it, but it could very well be a trap. I agree. Maybe whoever presses the button gets eliminated, and they have to choose two people to go along with them. Oh, seriously? You know what? I'll take one for the team. I'm gonna go press it. <laughs> Alright, I pressed it. What happens next? Sonic is safe! Oh, sweet. <laughs> Huh, I guess it was that simple. Alright guys, you can go carry on now. Why don't we need to be safe again? That button's gone. Hey, what do you mean? Hey, yeah, the button is gone. Well, this causes some genuine concern. How do we beat the challenge without the button? Oh, hey. Garfield is safe. Great. What? Garfield was just here. How did he get safe? Oh, one, ding, spring trap is safe. Aha! Shooty, ding. Okay, I think I got it. The button moves every time somebody presses it to make it more difficult. Ah, that's smart. That's smart. That makes it that be a charter. Mm, a never moving button every time someone pushes it. The brawl for the button begins. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Ding, ding. Metal Sonic is safe. Shooty. Oh yeah, baby. Shooty. Natsuki is safe. Shooty. 
Ah, it's a button! Swing! I hit it with my ass. Wario is safe! Swing! Where's the button? I need to be safe! Swing! You're stupid. Susie is safe! Swing! I'm so heavy right now! Swing! Oh, that explains it. Toad is safe! Swing! Oh, it's mine! Get out of my way, old man! Swing! Barry McStary is safe! Swing! Uh, my old bones! Oh, it's right here! Swing! Wolf Wolf is safe! Nope, sorry! Swing! Uh, I am me never quits! Yes, a button! Swing! Well, I'm sorry to say that you didn't get this button. Nagito is safe! Swing! The board fool! Uh. Uh, Kirby's safe, I guess? Chwing! Oh, how in the hell did that count? Kirby technically touched the button, didn't you know? It's just how the game is played, Black Yoshi. The fun watch? I really hope that Waluigi gets safe. Thanks everyone, don't hold back. <laughs> Got it, and Iggy is safe. Chwing! <laughs> Luigi is safe. Oh yeah! Chwing! Chwing! Enderman is safe. Oh, she always even aimed for it. Chwing! Uh, uh, Waluigi is about to lose! How do we stop with this? It's the button! It's all mine, baby! Yeah. Think, Waluigi, think. What have you done that led to things being cheesy? <gasps> yes, I remember now. Oh, do I think I'm gonna die tonight? Yeah! Hey, get out of my sight! <laughs> and you, you're ready to turn. You get the beating too! Kick ass! Well, let's go. You, you stupid man! You, and you, while we can see. Yes. And that was uncalled for. Ooh, a bite of it. I wonder if it has electricity in it. I'm going to eat it. Tweet, tweet. No, not gonna happen. Owl twins are safe! Chwing! Finally! It's mine! Ching ching! Lost! Frightened! Confused! Good! <laughs> I am Mina safe! Chwing! <laughs> I'll never get a button! Chwing! I'll never be safe! Oh! Oh! Coney is safe! Sweet! Chwing! <laughs> a button! And no one's trying to steal it! I'm gonna go steal it myself! Chaos control! Ching! Ching! Wow, he's fast! Shadow is safe! Ching! How is someone supposed to find this? Ching! Boo is safe! Ching! Finally! What the heck was that for? Foe, I wanna live! Ching! And I gots to do what I gots to do! Ching! Black Yoshi is safe! Ching! Dick time! Mr. Button, do I have permission to press you? Yes? Well, I guess I might as well. King <laughs> Roy is safe. <laughs> 20. How could this happen to me? Dream about time. Yoshi is safe. 20. Oh, hey, sweet. I get to have this button. No. 20. Enter to safe. 20. <laughs> 20. Yes. Bowser Jr. is safe. 20. And so this leaves our final four, Brent, David, Larry, and Rotom, with only one button left to push. Who's gonna make it? Who's not gonna? Let's find out now. Oh, that button is mine! <laughs> no! <laughs> Curse my bigness. All right, David, do the thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? What the? Oh, uh oh, no. <laughs> Swing. David is safe. Swing. Swing. Oh, seriously? Which means Larry, Brent, and Rotom are eliminated. No, 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 not again. Ugh. Why can't I just be eliminated normally for once? Dude, you were voted on episode 18 of season 2. Don't cry about it. Shut up. Oh, man. Gypped again from a chance to win it. Grrrr! <sighs>
since the three of you lost, you all have been demoted to lower class residents. So, you all get to sleep in lower class with the rest of the, with the, rest of the eliminated Joker, so have fun with that. Okay, say your final words and you're no longer needed. Go off screen now. That includes you, Joker, so get out. You don't have to be so rude about it. <sighs> Why can I never get a chance? Hmm. <sighs> Junior, Iggy, Roy, you better do well here. I'm gonna get even more mad than I already am. <sighs> well, I guess I'll have another chance of a rejoin pops up, so. Toad, do me proud, right? I never get to have any electronics. Now, if the re all of you all could just go down with the rest of the goobers so we can explain what the new stage of the game is. Yeah, please do so. I forgot to put Piranha Plant in that entire ordeal. I mean, he was gonna be safe regardless, but it only took me until, like, after I recorded Ziff remembered that Piranha Plant was supposed to be there, and I just forgot about him. Pain. Don't worry, he's safe, he's fine. Just, I did forget about him, and if you remind me now, I already know. So, stop. Alright, cheese balls, time to explain what this new stage of the game is all about. Are you 100% positive is it Merge? Yes, we're 100% positive, it's not Merge. Okay. Sammy just had a bunch of new people join the game, and well, they probably wouldn't be able to all fit on into it until the separate teams. We decided that we should form new teams! New teams, you say? Hmm, enlighten us. That's right, everybody, new teams. You're all gonna form your own new teams. We're not picking for you, you're all gonna pick them. Excuse me, hosts, I have a prospect I should enlighten you on. There currently isn't an even, not even amount of contestants to form form any sort of equal amount of teams. How will you solve this dilemma? Wait a minute, how many of you how many are of you are left yet? There's 41. Oh, yeah, it does raise a bit of a problem. Hmm. You know what? Who says we have to be balanced? Let's have some teams have a bit more people than others. Um, wouldn't that make things a bit unfair? Yes, it would, but think about this. BFDIA had two had two teams when it first began, and neither of them were equal. So, if they're allowed to do it, then so are we. Well, it's amazing how things can just work out like that. Here's what I'm thinking. Five teams of... What do you think, Bluco? Hmm. Five teams with... Three of them having eight players. While the rest have seven. Boom. There you have it. We'll get out of your hair now. Have fun team picking! All right, guys. Since since we are already like have eight people, I think we should all just stick together and boom, our team's complete. Um, Mr. Sonic, me and Tal want actually want to go see, see different teams. You know, we want to get some new experiences with other people. Huh? Really? Well, I guess this is really guess I can't really stop you. If this is your choice, then you go ahead and make it. If you ever want to come back, we're still here until we get a full team. All right? Come on. Hey, Dad, you want to come with us? Sorry, boys. I think I'll stay with stay with this team. Better to have you. Better to compete against your old man instead of with him. You know, gives you a bit of more challenge. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll see. Guess we'll be competing on different teams then. All right, see you, Dad. Adios, kiddos. Well, I guess that just leaves us with seven. All right, third group. I think we should start forming our own team and separate ourselves into Fantastic Four just for once. We can become our own independent team. I don't think that'll do any harm. Let's do it. Yeah, I second that. Oh yeah, we're gonna be our own team! And I'm part of the team as well! But Rammerhead, you're not really in the game though. So, that doesn't mean I can't be part of the team! Besides, I wanna be part of things! I wanna be important! And this is my chance to be so, so I am on the team whether you like it or not! Well, I guess this food group truly really is complete now. Point is, we don't really have as m we don't only have five. Kind of need seven or eight. So, hey, yo, anyone want to eat food? Come and join this team. And we lost Kirby. Welcome to the team, Pink Marshmallow. Can you eat food? Mhm. Mm Perfect. Hmm. It appears that Kirby has his own team in mind. Such a shame. I was hoping to include him in my team, but he has the freedom to choose what he wants. And I'll let him make the decision. Even if that means we must compete against each other. Hey, Meta Knight, uh, wanna form a team? Hmm. The last time we al I, allied you I allied with you was since as good as I had hoped. However, this would be a good chance to keep you in check. 
to make sure you have changed and not plan to dominate any sort of way in any sort of way. Any sort of plans of world domination should have been flattened on my system after I made, after I made the theme park and I became a, me a merchant, so I'm good as new. Very well then, Magalore. We shall see. Now, I have assembled you six to join my team because I believe you're the most vicious, cunning, and other outright evil players on this game. And together, we shall dominate the competition in the name of villainy. Except you two. You two are just stupid. Hey, we can be vicious and con cunning. Why can't we, Grounder? Uh, we'll have to try. I don't know if it fits my schedule. Ching. Compared to my quote-unquote brothers, I have the most capable abilities out of all the robots Eggman has created. I will serve perfectly on this team. Uh, that Metal Sonic guy is blocking our spotlight! Yeah, he's taking all the attention away, away from us and giving away from us. As much as I would prefer to be on a team with Luigi so I could, let's just say, make his life a little difficult, this team works out. It would be nice to have a lot of like-minded individuals working together. I agree. Vilni is the best thing that could help that could help us out. Then it's settled. Our team is complete. Don't forget us. Well, there goes Junior. That stinks. We're gonna have to find new teams to, to be on. Hold the phone. What if we finally? Combined our forces. Go on. Iggy, brother. Let's make our own team. I like the way you think. But first we need to get the essentials first. There we go. Hmm. Ooh, 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 can we join? Yeah, we wanna join. We're brothers, we can help you out. Hmm. Why not? Let's let them in. Yeah, welcome to the team. Midnight. You're one of the most heroic things that I have seen. I said from that one time. But, I require your advice to be good. I need your help. And for that, I wish to join your team. Welcome aboard, Betty McSteady. It is pleasant to see that you're trying to improve yourself as compared to Season 1. Yes, yes it is. I strive to become the ultimate hero one day. And with your help, I'll finally accomplish that. Hey man, I, do you think it's, you think possible, it's possible for me, for me, me Nagato, David, David, and Enderman to join your team? team? We, the other friends the other are kind of really low on members, so... It won't really add much to your team, team aside from, from, well, just, just giving you, giving you more, more footing. Hmm. It would definitely fill us to the, to the minimum capacity that we need, which is seven. So I say you are welcome aboard. Welcome to the team! Awesome! awesome. Let's go, David. Oh, I couldn't help but notice that you all like to eat things. And I say, I say, I love to eat things too. So I say this team is the perfect team for me. So what do you say? You want to have a nice little chomp and plant on your side? Yes, yes, join us. I like tea. I like your teeth. Mm -hmm. Let's get this show on the roll. This mean green mother's going to help eat. Yeah. Well, we're kind of just stuck at six, so any of you all have any ideas who we could add to the team? I have just the person for you. Introducing my bestest friend in the whole world of Papyrus. <laughs> Hello! You know, I really shouldn't be surprised. Welcome to the team, Papyrus. Yes, welcome, welcome. Oh, is it okay if I add my friend too? I'll go get him. Introducing a new friend I made, the hoodie. Uh, hey. What an oddball choice. Well, nope, I see nothing wrong with it. Welcome to the team. Hey, let's go, outcast representatives! <laughs> this is gonna be very fun! <laughs> yes, it will be! Uh. Ha ha ha. I can't laugh. Hmm. You all appear to be a strong, independent team. I'll join you. Strong and independent? I like strong and independent. I'm gonna join this team, too. Independent and strong, you say? Hmm. This team has a very good dynamic to it. I'll join. Y'all got butter. Hey, wait. Did I just sleep through all that? Aw, oh, man! I'm 
missed out on all the team picking. I'm the last one. Do you guys have a spot open? Yes, we do. I'll join. Uh, uh, well, I guess well, looks, I guess like, looks everyone like, like everyone else, else, has, else chosen has chosen their teams already. Their teams so, already. So, so, what do we do, what next? do we do next? From here, I do think it's time that we that, that we name our team, for which we'll be described by for the coming days and months and years that the show may last for. Oh, do any of you have any ideas for team names? Well, I would suggest the other friends again, but considering that got us last place in the team naming challenge, I don't really think that's a good idea. Plus, the team has also brought us a great curse, having us lose the most members out of all of all the teams in the first gauge of the game. How about the Power Smashers? Hmm, that team name seems a little too unoriginal. It seems a bit too bland, if you ask me. Well, my la the last team I was on was, na was named another name than that due, due to a careless mistake on my half. Fortunately, I am not going to name my team something as stupid as that again, because our team name is going to be something else. Wait, no, no! <laughs> Dang it! Hey, we're choosing team names now. Awesome, what's our team name gonna be? Well, we could name ourselves the third group, but that just seems a little too on the nose. Think about this a little bit. What are we? Uh, let's see. Mm, come on, Black Yoshi, use your big brain! <laughs> Guys, I got it! We are an awesome team of cool friends! Awesome! When choosing team names, what's our team name going to be? That would be an acronym. Almost all evil organizations have an acronym in their name. What acronym shall we create and use for our team name? Hmm, how about evil? E-V-I-L. Hmm, not a bad idea. But what's going to be in the acronym? Hmm, how about every villain is lemons? <laughs> what? Every villain is lemons, otherwise known as evil. What? Oh, so much for a team name sounding cool. Well, what's our team name gonna be? Well, I say that hero travelers are done. We need to come up with a new team name that's cool and sets the, that's the theme of our team along. Which is... Hmm, I think I got one. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh, can I add to that? Ooh, such good ad additions. Oh, I got one. Ooh, this team name's getting better. I'll contribute. Ooh, yeah, this team is gonna be awesome. Ooh, hmm, good one, Papyrus. Ooh, yeah, that's perfect. All right, with our ideas combined, our team name is going to be Eight. Why? It sets the team apart nicely. There's eight of us. You know what? I should be mad, but that's clever. Yeah, that's actually really smart. Well, I guess if we're not all, I guess we're not. If we're not opposed to it, then we'll just save that new team idea for another season. Ooh, ooh, I have the perfect idea for a team name. We should be called the Jolly Good Rookies. None of us aren't rookies, Iggy. Far from it. I am the Guardian of the Cosmos. That is definitely not a rookie. I'm a freak show of wires. I am a skilled wizard. Definitely not a rookie in your eyes. I'm a witch. Robotus is here. We're kids. Hmm. Then how about we be the Jolly Good Bullies? Oh, that's good. Freeze a jolly good rookie. Freeze a jolly good rookie. Freeze a jolly good rookie. And his name is Roy. All right. I think that's all the teams all set to go. We have something else. An awesome team of cool friends. Every villain is lemons. Eight. Freeze and the jolly good, good bullies. Whew. That was certainly a day. Would you look at that? The sun is going down. So I think that's a good place to call it there. Since everything that happened today happened, we'll call this a non-elimination round, meaning there will be an immunity token vote. Oh, sweet. For which team? All of them. But All of you all will be up for voting for an immunity token, except for the ones who already have one. If you already have one, you don't get a second one. That's the limit. I'll take what I got. 
Honestly, today was a good day. Aside from all the brain things and the evil. Yeah, it was a good day for a lot of people. Vote in the poll description on who deserves to win an immunity token. Whoever receives the most votes will receive an immunity token. And don't forget to vote on one of these four locations to for us to go for the next challenge. Of course, whichever one receives the most votes will be the one we'll be going to. Don't forget to send those requests in the challenges, yeah. Today was a good day. I finally feel included in something. I may find this new group of people to be my new friends and family. I don't think I'll ever want to go back to the home, my home planet. This is so much fun. I love these people. <laughs>